Welcome back to the Godly Empowering Teachers by yours truly, Josiah McKinney. I'm glad you came back. I'm honored. You know, all glory to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I know you're doing well. I know you're blessed and highly favored. I know God is moving in your life. And the, guess what? The best is yet to come. You know what I'm saying? This has been an awesome year for me. I know it's been an awesome year for you. You know, thank God for this amazing year. Like I said, it's been a year of restoration. God is restoring things. He has restored things in my life. I know he has restored things in your life because he said this is going to be a year of restoration. A blessing, awesome year. This a bless, was a blessing, awesome year. Um, and guess what? The best is yet to come. You know, God's great things in store for you. I say happy holidays. I'll say Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas as well. You know, thank God for um the, the, um, the Christmas season, the birth of Jesus Christ. Jesus is the reason for the season. You know, we thank God for that. You know, God is doing amazing things in our lives. I'm honored anybody that watches these videos. I mean, from the bottom of my heart, I'm honored, you know, I do it to glorify my Lord, say Jesus Christ, you know, watch the snippets online, you know, it's, it's been a tremendous journey, and I thank God for this journey. I really want the best decisions of my life to move forward in my faith, you know, to work on my gift, and to be more bold about what God has given me, you know, be be more bold of what, what God is calling me to do, you know, so to walk my call and my purpose, which I feel is to teach the word of God. So I thank God for that, you know, I know you're blessed and highly favored, um, Give on to my leader, um, uh, Apostle McKinney. That's my leader. Give on to my leader. Give on to my church. Prayer Mountain Ministries, 438 Rayburn Road, Columbia, South Carolina. Thank God for that, my church as well. And the Love Center Church as well. And Highway 521, Sumter, South Carolina. Two great, awesome churches you can join anytime you feel the love of God, you feel the, 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 the presence of God, you get a great word and great fellowship with people. So it's awesome. You won't, you won't, you won't regret it. Amen. God's going to do amazing things in your life, you know what I'm saying? But you need a great church. You need a pastor to do this to do those great things in your life as well you know so so also subscribe like comment you know uh, i really appreciate it. anybody like your comments you know i really appreciate it um i believe god's hand is on this channel you know i believe god has called me to do this you know what i'm saying i believe there's something god's put in my hands there's something i have to be faithful to to store over it well you know what i'm saying never know what it can be you know what I'm saying the bible said the lord rejoices to see the work begin the work has begun now, now that I started, now I have to, to, to do it well. You know, put my hand to the gospel plow and never, don't look back. You know what I'm saying? For God is going to do amazing things if we be steady with what God, what God has given us, man. So thank God for that. You know, thank God, thank for um, believing in me just the way. Um, thank, for God, thank for God believing in me and um, and thank for uh, also loving me to watch my videos. You know, I believe in you just as much as you believe in me and I love you just as much as you love me. You know what I'm saying? So I really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. I mean it from the bottom of my heart. So thank God for this. This is episode 50. Oh my gosh. Wow, a true milestone. I really appreciate it. a true milestone. Thank God for this. You know, I really appreciate episode 50. Wow. You know, I just started this, you know, like I guess like two and a half years ago, beginning of 2021. Um, three years ago, and it's been a tremendous journey. You know, I learned a lot, you know. Thank God for using me and thank God for all the people encourage me along the way a lot of people encourage me along the way a lot of people don't know that a lot of people encourage me along the way to keep me going you know what i'm saying so the Bible said two is better than one so i thank god i thank god for anybody was blessed and encouraged inspired by these videos so a lot of people you know just let the um the, the people inspired by these videos you know just to glorify god you know to spread the word of god you know many people in the world are spreading different negativity we got to spread the word of god we got to spread the jesus christ that jesus christ lives and that jesus christ loves you for who you are he wants to use you for your for your glory so this is episode 50 wow i was excited for this moment i thank god for this moment so let's keep going you know for the glory of god whatever god called you to do could do to be faithful in that he's going to bless it real good he's going to multiply it over time so this time's episode is called soul winning soul winning you know i thank god for this this um episode i feel like it's a powerful episode i want you to know that god's number one um idea or number one um thought is soul winning to win the loss you know what i'm saying the bible says in proverbs eleven thirty, it says the fruit of righteousness is the tree of life and he that winneth souls is wise you know what I'm saying he that winneth souls is wise the bible says if you win souls for the kingdom of god you are wise the bible says that also that what we do for god we will be rewarded for it you know what I'm saying it's nothing better than converting a lost brother and bringing him home you know what I'm saying it's like the prodigal son when he was lost in the in the in, in the pit pit's pen you know he was lost and he came back to his, his father his father opened up with open arms gave him a robe a calf you know a ring you know he he showed the love of god because of his lost son and if somebody lost that god wants to use you to bring him back to him you know what i'm saying 
That's the point I want to get. It's somebody lost that you know that God wants to use you to bring back to Christ. You know what I'm saying? He wants to use you to bring back to Christ. He wants you to win souls for him. You know what I'm saying? To be about the Father's business. Amen? Like the Bible said, the Bible said, he said, he'll lead the 99 to go after the one. He said, I'm concerned about that one, the one lost sheep, the one that could be converted back, the one that could be saved. You know what I'm saying? That's one of the first episode snippets I did. With the first episode I did, it was, um, um, God said, I'll lead the 99 to go after the one. That's one of the first snippets I did for episode one, you know? And like, we all was that one sheep. Like I was that one sheep before, you know, I was lost, this and that. And somebody came and saved me, you know what I'm saying? And the same thing, just as somebody came and saved you, uh, you have to do the same for somebody else, you know what I'm saying? Think about somebody now who's not as committed to God as they should be, not in church as they should be, but you can help them and, and you can help them. And, and God wants to use you to help them in Jesus' name. Like the like Jesus said to Peter, he said, I pray that your faith fail not. I pray that your faith fail not. And because the enemy desires to sift you like wheat. And he said, once you are um, converted, Peter, go back and strengthen your brother. You know what I'm saying? Once you, you, you're, you're, you're rooted back in God, I want you to go back and strengthen your brother. You know what I'm saying? You know, before um, I made this channel, um, I was in a very tough season in my life, one of the tough seasons of my life. And it, was, it felt like, you know, Jonah in the well. It felt like that. You know, it felt like. In the well, it was dark. You know, I was going through this and that. It was a lot going on, and I and I was going through tough And it's, you know, by the grace of God, I got out of that season. You know, because somebody helped me. You know, people, God used people to help me do that season. Um, but once I was stripped and back to where I was supposed to be, or even better, I had to go back and convert. Uh, I had to go back and strip my brothers. You know, what I'm saying once I was converted, I had to go back to strip my brothers. You know, what I'm saying and stripping. I use this channel to strip other people. They know if God can use me, He can use you. You know, what I'm saying. If God can, God can um, change, change your, change my ways. He can change your ways. You know what I'm saying? What, what, um, what you do now, it's not gonna be forever. You know, so what, what you struggle with now, it's not gonna be forever. But God's gonna, um, He's gonna release you, release you, and um, release you from captivity, and He's gonna do great things in your life, man. So one thing I was playing is the soul. The soul is the mind, will, and the emotions. You know what I'm saying? The mind, will, and emotions. The soul is what lasts forever. Now we have a body which is the flesh, you know what I'm saying? The the flesh um um is 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 our bodies where we live in, but the soul is the mind, will and emotions, and we also have a spirit, man. You know what I'm saying? Um our, our flesh is like is is on the like wants to do what it wants to do, it's like on the enemy's side. The spirit is 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 of God. You know, we're creating the image like it's of God, it's it's God's side. And the soul is is the mind, will and emotions. It has to choose which side to go. You know what I'm saying? Should I go with the flesh? I'll struggle with the spirit, you know. So we all have a choice, and that's what God has given us. We have a choice, you know what I'm saying? What God has given us. The enemy desired to mess with people's soul, you know. So if people, if the enemy desired to mess with people's soul, he had the desire to have chaos in that chaos in their mind, you know, help them be led by their emotions, and only do what they want to do, do their own will, you know what I'm saying? So we can't let the enemy mess with people's soul because um um God God wants us to be um. He wants to above all things to be prosper, being good for even if our soul prosper. He wants your soul to prosper, you know what I'm saying? He don't want you to worry about anything. He wants you to be um have peace to pass all understanding. You know what I'm saying? He wants you to be led by the spirit and not by your emotions. He wants you to do his will and not your will. You know what I'm saying? When Jesus was at the garden, he said, Let let, let thy will be done. Let your will be done, Father, and not my will. You know what I'm saying? The Bible says that Jesus said, anybody that comes after me must deny themselves, pick up the cross, and follow me. You know what I'm saying? You must deny yourself. You know what I'm saying? It's not about me. It's not about you. It's about doing what God has called you to do. That's the whole point. You know what I'm saying? But why is your life such a, such important? Why your life is so important? Your life is so important because there are souls attached to your assignment. You know what I'm saying? Once your God use you in, when, in the way he wants to use you, many souls will get the life of Jesus Christ. You know what I'm saying? That's the key thing. That's why your life is such important because there are souls attached to your assignment. You know what I'm saying? So if you obey your assignment, many souls will get saved. But if you don't obey, then many souls will be lost. You know what I'm saying? So we got to let God use us for your for His glory, man. So um, don't be selfish. Don't be um, all about yourself because many people are attached to you. Many people are looking up to you. Many people are inspired by you when you give. Um, when you use, let God use you um, for your for um, for His glory, man. Like a, like a Saul. Saul needed Ananias. Saul, you know, who was a uh, persecuted church. He he was um, he didn't you know he was very against the church. But Saul needed Ananias. And when Saul, the light hit Saul, he fell off his horse. You know, God told Ananias, lay your hands on Saul that he may receive his sight. You know what I'm saying? Ananias was, um, 
had to do what God called him to do um, to um for for Saul to reach where God was supposed to go. You know what I'm saying? What 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 reach where God intended him to go. Amen. So Ananias was a key point, a key person um, um in Saul's life to, to to be a positive part. You know what I'm saying? We all need that one person to help us to get where God wants us to go. You know what I'm saying? It's like running your race. You know what I'm saying? It's like the um the relay race. You know, passing the baton. Only person, only way the um your teammate can get the baton is someone runs their race. You know what I'm saying? Someone needs you to run your race. So you can handle the baton, you know what I'm saying? And once you run your race, the the, the race can be won, and uh, and we can um, walk in victory in Jesus' name, man. So we have to have to um to win souls. We have to have a service heart, have a service heart, be about the Lord, you know what I'm saying? We have to compel people to come, you know what I'm saying? We can't take no for an answer, you know what I'm saying? We have to be um um be steady with um be steady on people, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes we we give people an option and they tell us no, then we'll we'll leave it alone. But you know if you know, if God call you to, you know, the, the um, the win that soul, then don't don't take no for an answer. You know what I'm saying? If they say no the first time, you know, ask them the second time. You know, continue to pay, uh, continue to pay people to um to be saved and to um to know that Jesus loves them for who they are. You know, um, it's like um, it's like um, you know, continue to let God use you for um for your glory. You know, winning souls. You know, just by living a holy life. You know what I'm saying? People are looking at the way you live your life. You know what I'm saying? If you live a holy life. That could compel people to who who this person serving. You know, this person um cussed them out and they didn't cuss them out back. You know, say who are you serving? You know what I'm saying? The person did you wrong and you prayed for them. Who are you serving? You know what I'm saying? And this person is, is steady talking about, you know, his Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and God is elevating him, God is blessing his life. Who are you serving? You know, your life is a testimony. People are looking at the way you live, and the way you live can help people, compel people to, to know who Jesus is. You know what I'm saying? That says in Luke. 1423 the lord said to the servant go into the highways and the hedges and compel them to come and to the, uh, that my house may be filled he said compel them to come he said tell them to come you know what i'm saying um invite people to come maybe on social media send somebody a dm hey i'm going to this church service it's going to be powerful i want you to come you know you really enjoy it you know what i'm saying i feel like people can invite people to parties that people can invite people to church you know what i'm saying um it's if people can tell hey go to this um this event is going to be jamming this and that, you know, they can invite people to come to church, you know what I'm saying? Let God use you in the way he wants to use you, you know what I'm saying? And so what, second thing, we have to be a witness for Jesus, you know what I'm saying? Be a witness for Jesus. Sometimes, the key point I was reading, a uh, great book, Soul Winning by T.L. Osborne. A great book, Soul Winning by T.L. Osborne. You should read it if you want to read it. Um, but he said, we can't send Christ or the Holy Spirit as a special messenger, you know what I'm saying? We say, oh, we're just going to, Tell them to go over there, and and they, they then then God's gonna do it over there. But God wants to send you the person, you know, so he, so that person can um be compelled to come. You know, so it's good to pray for people, but it's good to go and talk to them and tell them about Jesus, compel them to to come and realize what they're missing out on. You know, what I'm saying if you're missing out on something good, you tell the person about it. It's like it's like you get something from like um like a, a specific food from a restaurant. And you, it was so good. You have to tell your friends. You have to tell your family, man, this food from this rep was so good. I, mean, I want y'all to try it. You know what I'm saying? And we have something so good, which is Jesus Christ. We have to tell people to come and taste and see that the Lord is good. You know what I'm saying? Come and try him. You know what I'm saying? You won't regret it. You know, it's the best decision in your life to give your life to Jesus Christ. You know what I'm saying? But he's he he's going to make a way good. He's going to make your way good. He's going to go before you make the crooked places straight, you know what I'm saying? He's going to give you peace to pass on understanding. He's going to heal your body. He's going to heal your soul, you know what I'm saying? He's going to restore your soul, you know? He's going to do amazing things in your life. And he wants to, he loves you for who you are. You're not the, you're not the, um, beat nobody else, but you got, but God's going to transform you and do great things in your life, amen? But we have to tell people about, be a witness before Jesus, you know what I'm saying? Be a witness on our jobs, you know, be a witness at school, you know, be a witness wherever we go, you know what I'm saying? Because Jesus is everywhere and he wants to he wants to use you everywhere, you know what I'm saying? Everywhere. So we so um the key thing we like I said we can't sip away God wants to use you yourself, you know what I'm saying? People may the key thing, people never see may never see God if they don't see him in action through Christian believers. People may the people I'm gonna say it again, people may never see God if they don't see him in action through Christian believers, you know what I'm saying? Um, but God, the way we live our lives shows who we, who we represent. The Bible said we are ambassadors of Christ. You know what I'm saying? The way we talk, the way we act, the way we respond. You know what I'm saying? Represents God. You know what I'm saying? And if we're not acting godly in a godly character, where we at? Then we're not. They may never see God. You know what I'm saying? If you if, if someone did you wrong and you do wrong back, you repay them evil for evil. 
then what do you what do you what do you rep what do you um showing a good representation of? You know what I'm saying? You're not compelling people to come, you know what I'm saying? If 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 you know if we gotta love those that hate us and pray for those that suspitely use us, amen. So we gotta let God use us um for um for where we are, amen. So I like this story in, in the book um Soul Winner by T.L. Osborne. He said um a person a, a woman was struggling, um she, she was struggling um, I guess um with her life. And she's and the, and the, I guess the Christian believers said we'll pray for her. We'll pray for her, right? And 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 in the, the, the book it said if if you could just pray for her, then she'll stay in that situation. You know what I'm saying? He said you must go to her, and and, and compel her to come. You know what I'm saying? Compel her to come to church. Compel her to give her life to Jesus Christ. Compel her to uh, to change her ways, and then she'll be she'll be converted. She'll be um. Um, stripping even more, she be converted even more, deep really even more. You know, it's, it's alright to pray. Don't you know, so pray for people, but you know, if you get tip, compelled them to come, you know, be a witness before Jesus. You know, witness for Jesus and, and know that um um that even greater works can happen for that person's life. You know, so Ananias had to lay his hands on Saul for his hand to be for his eye for his eyes for the scales to be removed from his eyes. You know, so he had to lay his hands on Saul, and he, the Bible said he was filled with the Holy Spirit. You know, what I'm saying from that moment on. So we serve God by serving people. You know what I'm saying? You serve people um, for the glory of God. You know what I'm saying? The Bible said, Apostle Paul said, we preach not ourselves, but of Jesus Christ. You know what I'm saying? We do this for Jesus Christ. We serve people for Jesus' sake, you know, to glorify our Lord and save Jesus Christ. I like this story, uh, Cornelius. The Bible says Cornelius was recognized by God for his praying and helping the poor. You know what I'm saying? He was praying a lot to God and he was helping the poor. You know, he was doing a great service, you know, uh, for God. And it says in Acts 10, Verse 31 said, Cornelius, your, prayer, your prayers have been heard. Your gifts to the poor has been noticed by God. He said, I know it's your prayers. I know you've been helping the poor. You know what I'm saying? And that came out as the sweet smell of savor before God. You know what I'm saying? So what we do to help people, you know, it comes out the sweet smell of savor before God. You know what I'm saying? When you help other people, God notices that. And God said, I'm going to bless you for that. You know what I'm saying? You help somebody that's going through something. God said, I'm going to bless you for that. You know what I'm saying? And the key verse um, um, in verse 36, Peter said to uh, Cornelius, he said, I want you to know, Cornelius, that there is peace with God through Jesus Christ, who is Lord of all. He said, there is peace with God through Jesus Christ, who is Lord of all. Peter was telling the great news that you can have peace with God through Jesus Christ. He was he was proclaiming the good news. He was witnessing witnessing um, to, to Cornelius about the good news that Jesus, that through Jesus Christ, you can be saved. You know, so through Jesus Christ, your sins can be forgiven. You know what I'm saying? Through Jesus Christ, you know, all, all can be well. You know what I'm saying? So that's the good news. He's, Peter was telling the good news. I said that we have to tell the good news to people that you, you don't have to, um, you don't have to be bound anymore. You don't have to, um, be hold your head down what you did in the past anymore. You don't have to walk in shame. You don't have to be sickly. You know, you don't have to be broken down. You know what I'm saying? You can be healed by the stripes of Jesus Christ. Your sins can be forgiven. You 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 loved by the Father. You know God's gonna do, God could do great things in your life. You know what I'm saying? The best is yet to come for you. You know what I'm saying? Your past doesn't have to hold you back anymore. You know what I'm saying? Your past is forgiven. The Bible said God forgets your past. He 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 doesn't remember your past. He don't remember your sins. He don't remember your faults. Your faults. You know what I'm saying? God said, I'm getting those things. I put the forest to east from the west. You know what I'm saying? God's going to do amazing things in your life. And that's the good news. Peter told the good news to Cornelius. And that's saying that we have to tell the good news to unbelievers. You know what I'm saying? We have to tell the good news to the people that have broken down. You know what I'm saying? Tell the good news that through Jesus Christ, you can, it all can be well. You know what I'm saying? Through Jesus Christ, you can be saved. You know what I'm saying? And delivered. You got peace in your mind. You can, you can, uh, you can, be, um, you can um, be a better father. You can be a better mother. You can be a better son. You can have to live a better life, better daughter. You know what I'm saying? Through Jesus Christ, amen. No, the kid didn't want to know that Jesus was a soul winner. You know what I'm saying? Jesus himself, he said, I came not for the, came not for the righteous, but sinners. Well, I came for sinners, you know what I'm saying? He sat with sinners, you know. Uh, he talked about the, the woman who was the Samaritan woman, you know, who was not, uh, Samaritan people were uh, unclean, you know, not as not godly. And, and the disciples were surprised with Jesus uh, she, that he was talking to this woman, you know what I'm saying? He was talking to this woman. And Jesus said, it doesn't matter, you know, who this woman is, for I'm Jesus, I've got all the sins, you know what I'm saying? And he wasn't like had an attitude that he was better than anybody, but he was a servant for all. You know what I'm saying? He he sat before sinners the the win the win the loss, you know what I'm saying? That's saying that we have to sit before sinners, the win the loss, amen. We can't have a holier than thou attitude that I'm better than you, or I'm this and that. You know, God wants to use us uh for his glory. The Bible said that he said it desired that we we be fishes of men, you know what I'm saying? Be fishes of men, you know what I'm saying? God wants you to be fishes of men. But how can we be the fishes of men? We must first deny ourselves, pick up the cross and follow him, you know. We have to follow Jesus, you know, like Jesus, um, with Andrew and um, Peter, 
I think they were fishing. He said, I desire to be fishers of men. They, they stopped what they were doing and they followed Jesus. We have to follow Jesus. And God wants to um, have that burning desire to win the loss. Amen? Amen? So let's keep that all. We all have the ministry of reconciliation. You know what I'm saying? Reconciliation. Reconciliation is to proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ and tell people, tell people their sins can be forgiven and can be right again with God through faith in Jesus Christ. We can all we all have the ministry of reconciliation. You don't have to have a be part of fivefold um, office, the pastor, teacher, evangelist, prophet, you know, apostles. We don't have to have any of that office, but we all have the ministry of reconciliation. Every believer has has the ministry of reconciliation. God has given you that ministry. The, the, the win the loss, you know, to so reconcile people back to God through Jesus Christ. You know, we have to persuade men and women um to um, to be back to um Jesus Christ, you know. I like this example, you know, with, um Christ in you, um Christ Christ lives in you, you can't do nothing without the body. You know, Jesus is the head, you know, Jesus is the head, but we are the body of Christ, you know what I'm saying? The head needs the body, and the body needs the head. You know, I'm saying that Jesus needs you just and just as much as um we need Jesus. Jesus needs you to do the work. Um, um, that he sent for us to do, you know what I'm saying? Because he's not coming down from heaven, but he sent us to do it, you know what I'm saying? So I just want you to have that burning desire to witness, and God's gonna give you opportunities. Watch it. If you pray and ask God, um, to win most souls for the lost, God's gonna give you opportunities, and then pray to have holy boldness, you know, pray to have holy boldness that I can win, um, the lost, I can be a witness before witness to Jesus, witness before Jesus, before men, you know what I'm saying? God's gonna, God can use you in any type of way, you know what I'm saying? And you'd be surprised the opportunities that will open up and, and the, um, many things that God's going to use you in different ways. You know what I'm saying? He didn't want the souls as wise, amen? Thank God for this word, amen? Know that I also like said, John the Baptist said, I am the witness to the light. I am not the light. You know, Jesus Christ is the light. You know what I'm saying? All, the, all, all we do is give glory to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, amen? But the last verse I'm going to hit is, uh, they for, they for everybody watch this episode. I really appreciate it. But um, the last verse I'm going to hit is Mark 8, 36. You know, you know it well. What should it profit a man if he gain the whole world and lose his soul? You know what I'm saying? You profit the world, the gain the whole world, gain everything in the world, and you lose your soul. Your soul is very precious. Your soul is so precious that Jesus Christ died for it. You know what I'm saying? Your soul is what's going to last forever. The Bible says you came into this world with nothing, and you're going to leave with nothing. You know what I'm saying? So you have to be conscious of what what um be conscious of your soul protect your soul the Bible says protect your heart with all diligence you know what I'm saying without it while it flows the issues of life you know what I'm saying so we have to protect our souls you know reading the word of God is protecting your soul you know read the word of God is uh, word is alive it's active it's sharper than any two edged sword you know it purifies our soul the Bible says um the word of the Lord is flawless it's 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 um uh, it's flawless you know it's pure you know what I'm saying the Bible says it's um it's it's like flawless, like like you um refining gold seven times, you know, putting the, put gold in the fire, you refine it like seven times. It's a sharp, it's sharp like that. It's so sharp, it's so pure. You know what I'm saying? So reading the word God is gonna help your soul. You know what I'm saying? I like where they said the Lord restored my soul. He restored my soul. He created me clean heart, new right spirit. You know what I'm saying? But what would profit man if he if he lose if he loses soul? He gains the world but loses soul. You know, it's no pleasure. It's no possessions worthy of your soul. And that's, that's the key thing. There's no pleasure, no possession. This world can offer is worthy, more worthy than your soul. You know, keep your soul. You know, God wants to use you to win the loss. You know, and pray that God uh, send somebody. You know, your way. You know, I pray that um, it's this burn, burning desire to um, to win the loss to to um, proclaim Jesus. You know, wherever I am, that's the burning desire to the to, to be a soul winner. You know, so that's the burning desire that God's placed in my heart um, this year coming up to, to win more souls for Him to 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 be a w more witness for Him. You know, what I'm saying. So the key points I like in this in this um, episode fifty wow is that and also that God's gonna reward you for what you do as well. What you do in here, He's gonna reward you. He's gonna bless you. You know what I'm saying? Key point is that we have to have the servant attitude. We can't be selfish, but we have to have a servant attitude. It's not about ourselves. It's about God. You know, soul is the mind, the will, and emotions. Reading the Word of God is gonna help your soul. You know, and we know that we are the body of Jesus Christ. We are the body of Jesus Christ. He's the head. We are the body. He needs the body. And it's just much we need the head. We need to do the work. Be the hands and feet of Jesus Christ. Know that also we have the ministry of reconciliation. You have the ministry of reconciliation. The win the loss. Amen. Know that God, number one, love is soul winning. He, he goes after the one that's lost. The 99. He leaves the 99 and go after the one that's lost. You know, his heart, his number one heart is soul winning. That's what the church is. The win the loss. You know, the compelled, the compelled on the come. That's one his heart. And he's and another point is that which above all things, 
that your soul prosper. You wish of all things that your soul prosper. You know, your mind, will, emotions, that you be in peace, that you, you follow his will, you be led by the spirit, not by your emotions. And and, and uh, you do great things in life, man. God has great things in store for you, the best yet to come. Thank you for watching this episode. I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Blessings to you in Jesus' name, man.